are watching West Harper Community West Television. Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. For the community, by the community. Thank you for tuning in to Weha Mag. It's finally springtime, almost summertime. Uh, we're here to uh, chat with you about all things West Hartford. Uh, as we like to say, we have it all in West Hartford. My name is Tom Hickey. I'm from West Hartford Magazine, Weha.com, and Weha Events. And we come to you on a monthly uh, basis to talk about all the things that are happening in West Hartford. My uh, co-host is Barbara Lerner, and we're going to take the time right now to go around uh, the circle and, and, and introduce ourselves. Barbara? Uh, so I'm Barbara Lerner. I'm the Executive Director of the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce. My name is Ryan Keating with the Keating Insurance Agency. Matt Whitney with Maximum Beverage in the uh, soon-to-be-happening West Hartford Wine and Food Festival. Fantastic. So a few things uh, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time. Uh, what we do is we bring the business associations and the neighborhood associations together. So if they could not uh, join us today, they've sent us, uh, so that's what all these crazy sticky notes are. Mm -hmm. They've sent us information to please uh, share uh, with all of you what's going on uh, in certain neighborhoods. So let's start with Bishop's Corner uh, because we just came off of um, a, uh, an exciting event and I'll, I'll close with that. But before uh, we talk about that event, they have a uh, annual uh, farmer's market that takes place um, uh, every summer. Uh, so that will start uh, the first weekend of June. So by the time you view, view this, uh, you'll be able to go to the farmer's market. It is 10 o'clock in the morning until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's every Saturday all summer long. So from the beginning of June straight through to Labor Day. Uh, and it's held in the same parking lot as last year, which is the Crown Market Starbucks uh, parking lot. And uh, you can get any of this information on Bishop's Corner Facebook's page uh, at any time. Uh, it's rain or shine. So no matter what, there's a farmer's market uh, in Bishop's Corner. And there are other farmer, farmer markets as well, right, Barbara? There's a farmer's market um, on, uh, off of LaSalle Road Arapaho. on Arapahoe and LaSalle in that yeah. parking lot. Yeah. And they are there on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Oh, I didn't know about and, Tuesday. Yeah, and they, they start, it, <laughs> that one starts probably also the first week of June. They have to wait. It, it has to be Connecticut-grown produce. So the farmers that are there have to be the ones that actually can Actually, it, it's right across from my office. It is. Boy, you and, are uh, so lucky. And it's <laughs> been going on at least a lot since early May. Oh, it's already started. Yeah. They also have... Um, frozen sherbet there they have someone who does bread and cheese right. the breads there are fabulous i don't know whether yeah. you've bought anything there, is it still sponsored i thought at one, was it sponsored by can we say was it sponsored by luxbond at one point i you know or what i'm not changed? sure i don't th i i, I don't think sure it either. is sponsored well, a plug by for luxbond anymore it, wasn't, but but <laughs> it was nice enough to sponsor it when they did. at some point i know that it was so okay that's great so on the rapaho in west hartford center tuesday thursday saturday correct uh, or every in the saturday, mornings in, in the mornings oh in the mornings okay um or then 10 long 10 o'clock to one o'clock on saturdays in bishop's corner Great. So uh, our event that we teased about uh, at the at the opening was the uh, Taste of Bishop's Corner, uh, which took place, uh, if you recall, any of our, our, our viewers that were paying attention, that uh, we had an original date earlier in March, uh, which we postponed because um, Karen, who's usually with us, who's the property manager at Eden's, and I were trying to work really hard uh, in getting corporate to agree to allow us to be outdoors. And we were outdoors on the patio in between Maximum Beverage and Blue Plate 
Uh, and I don't know, to me, it looked more like a festival <laughs> than everything else. There was just a lot, yeah. a lot going on, uh, you know, that, that night. Um, our counts are off a little bit, but we know it was somewhere around 150 or 160, we think, um, you know, who, who joined us. So for any of you who missed it, uh, make sure you pay attention uh, next year um, and, uh, and, and join us. And for any of you who came up the back stairs, um, where, which means you parked in the back by Walmart, uh, and you didn't pay, but you still ate and enjoyed <laughs> yourself, send a donation to the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association there you go. Yeah. <laughs> because we didn't police you. <laughs> the you whole know, bed, what was really nice, and I, I've been to all of them, what was a little different and really nice about this one was the, it being outdoors. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really changed the whole vibe and feel yeah. of the event. And yeah. you also had a few different vendors that weren't just food or drink. Exactly. So you had Keating Insurance there, yeah. it's Sakharopoulos there, yeah. you had a great band, you had a couple of different groups yeah. playing. The two new beneficiaries this year were the Hall uh, Jazz Band uh, and Jewish Community Center, and it was um, uh, students from th that are involved in the jazz band who said that they have a, a group called uh, oh boy, uh, Gra Gravitonic. Gravitonic. Thank you. And Band <laughs> Two. Gravitonic and Band Two. Gravitonic is rock and roll. Band Two is jazz. And that they wanted to perform. Uh, they came. Uh, for free uh, because it was for the neighborhood. They all live in the neighborhood. Uh, so it was really wonderful you know, to have them join us. And then Barbara, just to pick up on what you said, like you know, you, uh, two, uh, two employees from European Wax uh, walked around dressed in red, handing out coupons. Uh, Orange Theory was there, Anytime Fitness was there. So it was really oh, nice. Massage, massage Envy. Massage, massage Envy. envy was yeah, that was, yeah, that was wild. Two chair massages and what was going on in the table? Was that foot massages? I, I missed that no, whole table thing. I, I, I did that, and I don't know what it really was. It was supposed to, <laughs> supposed to align your back and oh. just with pressure of the hands, I wouldn't pay for it. Wow. But, right. um, so. it, was, it was unique. It was uh, the holistic right. therapy. And oh, okay. So it didn't work. It didn't work? No. Well, good for you for trying. That was good. That's all massage I, I did That's almost fair. fall asleep. It was relaxing. Oh, so it so. did something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and a shout out and thank you to all the restaurants and all the sponsors. I'm not going to uh, take the time out of our show because we're limited with time to mention all of them. They're all on wehot.com or they're all on the Facebook page uh, for Bishop's Corner. Uh, there's a great video of the evening if you haven't seen it. Uh, actually, maybe we could include that uh, in this episode, which would be which would be great uh, at the end. But. Uh, you can have all the exciting activity that you want. You can have all the food that you want. But if you don't have beverage, um, you know, then you have a problem because people are thirsty. And especially that night, it was really hot. It was, it was a, really <laughs> hot. It had, had to be about 90 yeah. some odd degrees. And Crazy. sunny. And sunny. Oh, sunny. And, and yeah. beating on us. Yep. Um, but, uh, but Maximum Beverage was kind enough uh, to join us, open up their, their glass doors and join us. But one thing that they did that I thought was a great idea, I don't know who gets credit for it, Matt, but... Um, uh, they had a tasting for the beer and the wine, so we weren't charging, uh, you know, people to sample sure. it. Uh, and then, uh, if you liked what you sampled, you were able to go into the store um, and and make a purchase. So um, I'm the one that uh, bought all that Fisher's Island uh, at, the, at the end of the night because good, uh, good. is that actually called beer? It's not beer. It's, it's uh, not like beer. a. Okay. It's like they call it a cocktail. It's like a premixed cocktail. Oh, we call is? it an RTD in the business, so that's ready to drink. Um, art, so yeah, you, you gotta learn the lingo. RTD, okay. <laughs> you know. So uh, yeah, it was a great event, and uh, you know that's what we do. We try to get people to taste stuff because when they taste it, then they buy it. Mm -hmm. Taste yeah. case in point. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were offering a little discount there for the items that we were tasting for the the day. Okay, so. Um, yeah, it was a great event. Great. So let's segue into the next great event that we have coming yeah, up, which is the main reason why we sure. had to come in. Great. Yeah. So West Hartford Wine and Food Festival. Uh, it's coming June 17th. That's the day before Father's Day. Uh, it's going to be on the Kingswood Oxford uh, soccer fields, base, uh, soccer field slash lacrosse field slash field hockey field, whatever you want to call it. The big fields up there. Uh, we're going to have over 200 wines, uh, premium price between 20 and uh, 150 some odd dollars. Um, 30 different restaurants from the area, uh, as far out as like the student prints from Springfield, and then you know as local as grants and mill rights and restaurants like that so um, it's going to be a really great event something that we haven't seen uh, really in West Hartford um, ever so as far as a food and wine uh, event goes because really West Hartford is one in the area one of the great really food and wine centers um, really in Connecticut um, and so we're really excited that that we can bring kind of this this level of 
quality to uh, to the town. And I'll, and I'll add to that and, and speak to it, if, if you will. You know, this this was uh, this was your idea. You know, this this was something that was uh, there was a void. You know, in West Hartford. Our to, idea. Yeah. Matt, uh, okay. yeah. I won't take oh, sorry. full credit. Matt, that's all right. That's right. That's okay. Brian, Brian's yeah, yeah. Idea. Well, there's a few of us. Uh, we've <laughs> molded around for a couple of years because we've been yeah. doing the West Hartford, uh, the Weehaw Whiskey Festival, which has been right. very successful. Sold out last year, and uh, thought that this would be another entree into the kind of event space, yeah. so to speak. And, and to experience anything like this, um, and again, it's not similar, uh, terribly similar, so you have to go to either Greenwich or Newport or something, right? Sure, so, sure. So yeah. if someone's gone, you know, say locally in, in our area, like they've attended, you know, one of the other wine festivals, what makes this Yeah, really so it's different? totally different. It's really food and wine, yeah. all right? This, we're not going to have uh, the celebrity chefs. Um, it's not about that stuff. People aren't going to be selling things other than their the quality of their food and the quality of their wine. So really, if you're a wine person, if you're a food person, if you want to taste wine, experience kind of pairings, you know, we're going to pair each table, each food table is going to be paired with wine. And that was going to uh, be my next question. Are you yes, pairing the absolutely. chefs with specific you got to do that. So, so, you know, I've been to the other festivals in the area. They've had the one down at the casino. This is a totally different event. It's going to be, again, really wine focused. It's all about quality. Um, we've been in the business a long time and, and at Maximum Beverage, and this is something that we're really excited about. So it's going to be totally new ex wine festival experience. Right? Well, we're thrilled you're having you, you're putting this together. We've talked about doing this for a very long time. Sure. Not necessarily the food and the wine, but doing a um, a taste yeah. of all of our restaurants in West Hartford Center, as opposed to you know. Tom has been doing mm -hmm. the Taste of Bishop's oh, Corner okay. and Park yeah. Road yeah. and Blueback Square and Elmwood. And we thought it would be so great to get all of the restaurants together. Um, and we talked about closing down Farmington Avenue. Yeah. But this is such a better location. Well, it is. It's it is it's good. It's walkable from the center. Right. But in, the another nice thing is it's, it is more of a regional event, right? It's happening place in West Hartford. But West Hartford's more than just West Hartford because people come to West Hartford from all around. They come from down from Springfield. They come up from New Haven. So we want to incorporate some of their local things too into those into this event. So we have you know, restaurants from Springfield, a couple from the New Haven area um, to kind of tie it all together. And then we got Simsbury and all that. So, I mean, one of the nice things is, you know, the, the, the folks that you work with in Eat, Eat in Connecticut yeah. is they have really great relationships with the restaurants. And, and that's one of the difficult things it is to get people to do something like this is you need someone that is, you know, has that relationship because not everyone wants to give up their Saturday midday when you run a restaurant to go serve 1,200 people, right? right? So uh, that was one of the initial difficulties, but they were able to kind of come in and make that part happen, which is great. And, and by design, the event is in the middle of the day, so people can shop, sure. dine, and stroll, and experience West Hartford, you know, instead of just coming and leaving. And then go out to dinner. Right, absolutely. Come early, just, shop, just, whatever they want to do. Just stay around town. Yeah, exactly. So how do people get tickets? Very easy. WestHartfordWineAndFood.com um, or come into either Maximum Beverage location, West Hartford in Farmington. Um, tickets are right there. There's a group rate, uh, which is really good. If you can get five, four people together, uh, you get a nice group rate. And then there's a VIP dinner, which is going to happen Friday night, the night before, um, right in Blueback Square. Uh, and we're going to have, uh, there's tickets for that too. There's a combo pack you can buy, which gets you the VIP and then the main event on Saturday. Um, and you can get that right on the website, a very easy transaction. Um, and so. parking information will be there. Um, yeah, so that, that's the big issue everybody has. Yeah, so there's a big FAQ, FAQ Great. section, you know, frequently asked questions right there. You can go through this ton of content that we've produced, a ton of content on there. Uh, go check that out and, um, you know, it's all there. So It's soon. It it's is soon. really soon. June 17th, if you have a father, we all at some point have had a father. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully your father is still with you, and you can give him a gift. This, you know, of tickets to the West River Wine Food Festival might be the right, uh, the right gift. So, yeah. so please come out and join us for that. That's fantastic. Uh, let's uh, let's shift around town a little bit. Uh, Barbie, you want to talk about uh, Park Road because they have a very big fundraiser coming up, right? Well, well, Park Road's fundraiser was probably. This morning. You're right. By the time this the morning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and I'm going to have Ryan talk a little bit about it because oh, okay. he was a waiter. I, oh, I wasn't yeah. asked to be wait. I was not asked to be celebrity wait staff this oh, year. So I'm thrilled I get to eat this year. Right. Um, but well, now you, I'm sure you were asked eat. because of Flo, right? So why don't yes. you talk about Flo first? So tell Flo, us, tell people Flo, what Flo is. Flo is the future leaders of West Hartford, which has been the young professional offshoot from the Chamber of Commerce. That we really got some great traction starting beginning this year and we're seeing ourselves hit a great stride with our leadership team in place 
our board of directors starting for 7-1, uh, starting the first calendar year with the board of directors in place. And I am the president. We have uh, Kristen Gorski with the town of West Hartford as the vice president. Morgan Hilliard with the chamber is the membership director. Matt Banover with the Swanee. Aaron Bohegan with Webster Bank. Amber Jones with Amber Jones Photography. And Maria Angelico with Colliers all make up our leadership team. And we've been putting a lot of behind the scenes work in to get the group where we are today. And through that, I've also been very active with the Mayor's Charity Ball that just happened last month and raised money for the town that cares and the Playhouse on Park. And so through that, I was asked to be a celebrity waiter for this morning's event at Beautiful. Effie's Place, which is one of my favorite diners in town. <laughs> well, and the money from the celebrity breakfast goes towards the Park Road Parade. So every year, the first weekend, I think it's the first Saturday in October, is the Park Road Parade. And it is this year, without having the calendar in front of us, it is Columbus weekend, just so people can plan accordingly. That's and, Saturday. Uh, and we're, we're looking to put a float together a for the parade. Float? A float? A float? float. 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 Oh, there you go. All right. A float, yes. Okay. Well, Chamber of Commerce so. always says a float, too, so uh, maybe we can kind of talk about well if, if, if I that. if I were young enough to be a member of flow I would partner with maximum beverage and have you know wine tasting on my float I thought just we, we were just gonna that's throw all, jello yeah. shots <laughs> <laughs> jello shot. I don't know if that's uh, <laughs> no, 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 the nine activity. o'clock in the morning is, is, yeah. that, is, yeah. that, is that not kosher in West Hartford <laughs> no <laughs> it's a little um, early yeah. um, but the but the parade is great so the celebrity breakfast is a lot of fun everybody in town winds up there at some point between 7 30 in the morning and 11 o'clock um, either to just stop by and uh, say hello, eat, or be a celebrity server. Yeah. There, there are typically about 40 celebrity servers. There are a lot of people serving you food. And correct me if I'm wrong, but all th it's the major fundraiser for the parade, right? It is. All it is the major fundraiser. All that food is donated. Jo Johnny Penderis from yeah. Effie's Place donates everything that day. Also, Brad Davis from um, T is it T I C right? T I C Radio is on uh, doing his show there. So he interviews a lot of people. And that's always fun, too. I know Brad will be there this year. We've already had this, the yep. discussion. Absolutely. So um, yeah, so, that, so that's, that's a, uh, it's a great thing um, at the beginning of June. Um, in they the could, end they could, of June. They could use, uh, I just want to yes. add for Johnny, they could use volunteers you know, for as well for the parade they this are, year. And they're, they're looking, looking for, for sort of what, creative new ideas, you know, different things as opposed to just What's the same old floats. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, and that's one thing that Flo has been big advocates about is giving back to the West Hartford community. Uh, actually, this coming weekend when this airs is going to be Celebrate West Hartford. Right, that's right. And so we're putting together a team of floats to Flokes. help <laughs> with that. And uh, we're going to probably have about 20, 30 Flo members that will be actively helping with the Celebrate West Hartford as well as other, you know, we're looking to do something with Jonathan's Dream in the fall. Okay. Um, that's going to be a big build out and other events in town that we can be active with. Great, and you made me think of it. While people are enjoying uh, Celebrate, go by the uh, WeHead.com West Hartford Magazine booth because they will have uh, ticket information for West Hartford wine and food, and they will also have information to direct people to uh, WeHead.com because the voting for Best of West Hartford will kick off that weekend as well. <coughs> so it'll be the third annual Best of West Hartford uh, this year. So let's let's get All back right. to, to poor oh. Park Road. We're trying to finish Park Road. Well, well, Park Road. Uh, uh, yeah, is there any, did we, yeah, the, the only plant, thing we forgot the was the planters. On Park Road. Yep. Um, the whole planter initiative was started by um, Charlie Hilborn, who is not here with us today. Um, I was hoping he would be here because I'm going to make an announcement. Charlie Hilborn has uh, been selected as our Noah Webster winner for wow. 2017. Noah awesome. Webster, winner there from the chamber, I haven't told anybody this, All right. is, um, <laughs> See, is someone who's done So i got to keep my, my mouth <laughs> Until what? this airs. Until yeah. this airs. <laughs> um, Charlie Hilborn has uh, really done extraordinary things, and, and the Noah Webster Award has gone to some really wonderful people in the town. You have had to, you know, had a commitment and done something that people consider, you know, extraordinary to help the West Hartford community, and he has. This is the second year uh, Charlie is selling those planters all up and down New Britain Avenue for the Elmwood Business Association. He has taken it upon himself last year um, to start this program, and he sold 50 planters. And it's not easy going door to door 
um, talking to business owners no. and asking them to spend <laughs> two hundred dollars on a planter um, in front of your business, and he was very successful. And he's he sold forty nine as of yesterday yeah. when we spoke yeah. to him. He uh, will surpass that fifty number again this year, and it makes a huge difference in the community. And because of what he did on New Burton Avenue, um, the Home Design District has bought a bunch of planters through him, um, and they will have those up and down New Park Avenue. Um, Bishop's Corner has sold a dozen up planters to, yeah, a dozen, yeah. um, this year. And, and that will be um, right in front of um, uh, Eden's Plaza, where Maximum right. Beverage is, and on the other side, um, uh, where Simon Conover is uh, in that space. And Park Road is now in the yeah. process of selling planters, too. Yeah. So this one small he initiative... He himself has beautified the town. Uh, uh, <laughs> Charlie Hilborn's <laughs> part right. has really done that. Yeah, he yeah. is beautifully said, Tom. He yeah. has beautified the town. Mm -hmm. So we thought he was... I extremely well deserving, and he's the, the most charming, lovely man. That he is, absolutely so, fantastic. So I'm, I'm thrilled to say that. So Great. that segues into we will be honoring Charlie at our annual meeting on June 19th at the Pond House, and um, that is where the chamber says goodbye to outgoing board members and welcomes in and votes in our new board of directors. We always have about 10 members going off the board, 10 new members coming on to the, our board of 30. We have a large board. Wow. We also honor um, our, um, some of our members. This year we're a spotlight on success. So we asked our members to send in what they considered a success story for their life and their business this past year. We got 11 great stories and we, it was hard to wheedle it down to five. And we actually couldn't. We, we wound up with six, mm -hmm. and we will be um, honoring those six people and businesses at the meeting that night, too. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, just, it's a fun night. The food is wonderful. The location is great. Um, the stories you'll hear will be very interesting. Everybody defines success differently, mm -hmm. right. and it doesn't have to be financial success. Mm -hmm. It could be success in many different categories okay. of your life. So, you know, Can you update the, us on the golf tournament? So I know golf that was, tournament that was a change Sept in date. September twenty fifth yeah. this year at yeah. Tumblebrook Country Club. We changed the date and changed the location. Oh, there you go. So um, Tumblebrook uh, is a member of the chamber. We've gone to Wampanoag, who is a chamber member. We've gone to the Hartford Golf Club; they are chamber members. And Tumblebrook, which we've never had our tournament at, is a chamber member. So it's nice to give everybody an opportunity to host our event. Um, it will be a little different. We're going to start a little earlier as opposed to 1.30. We're going to start at 11 o'clock, so you'll have continental breakfast, golf, lunch on the course, more golf, and then dinner back at the clubhouse. Excellent. And so. is that still a networking event, the dinner afterwards? The dinner will be a networking well. event. We open yeah. that up to all chamber members. You don't have to be a golfer to participate in the day. Absolutely. It is mostly golfers. Sure. We, we, yeah. look, you know, we probably have 150 golfers. Um, and I'm looking forward to uh, that course. I mean, it's a beautiful, mm -hmm. hilly course, a little different sure. than Wampanoag yeah. and the Hoffa Golf Club. And I think, it, I think it's great that you move it around, too, you know, so that you're giving everyone equal, uh, you know, opportunity to be involved in. Well, everybody's anxious to host the event. Mm -hmm. um, it, it gives our members an opportunity to see the course and experience an event and taste the food because they all open up their um, banquet halls for outside events. So, right. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. We've been great. The food's been fabulous everywhere. So. There you go. <laughs> uh, John, go ahead. I was going to say, you haven't been able to do it at Rockledge, though, because they can't, can't hold they, 150 the, the, after. I mean, uh, it's one of my favorite courses, but yeah. they can't, um, they don't have a facility large enough for oh, dinner. So, it's, so right. you could golf there, but it would be we the, couldn't have the dinner reception there. after, yeah. And nobody yeah. was going to want to move from one place mm. to the next. What day of the week is it? It's a Monday. Monday? But Rockledge is looking very great shape this year. Yeah, I have yeah. To, I'm playing there Friday. Well, play, <laughs> playing there today. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday, it's Tuesday beautiful. the Golf League. It's always beautiful. I mean, we are so lucky to have Rockledge, Cornerstone, Buena Vista, um, the, the Art League. I mean, not many towns right. have uh, so many services. Yeah, the Art League had a great fundraiser last month, the uh, Wet Your Palette. Yeah, absolutely. That had a great showing of restaurants in the area. and. And I think wasn't it, I think it was the the evening after Taste of It was Bishop's yep. Corner, right? It was a it was a crazy week, I remember. Yeah. yeah. So there was a lot going yeah, on. Yeah, I got to eat 
both nights. Oh, there you go. You were, you were all <laughs> You did too. Speaking I saw of you both wet your pal, well, you guys keep talking. I'm going to get some wine out with you. Yeah. Oh. I, you know, I was wondering. I was going to say something. I know. I was like, I know Matt brought wine. I thought we were going to talk at the end. So yeah, I'm, we are. I'm going to pour out some wine. You guys thing. continue to talk. While, while Matt, well, Matt's pouring, you go uh, first. On the though. wine note, too, uh, I think it's June 9th is the Elizabeth Park Wine and Roses fundraiser that they do. Oh, do, well. they, do they do that before the summer season kicks off? Is that what yes, happens? Yes, yeah, because okay. I sponsored that. Oh, okay. So we. Uh, so it's the week before Rose Sunday, uh, Rose Weekend. Rose Weekend is the following weekend. So Rose Weekend would be the weekend of the wine and food. It is the weekend of the wine and food. Okay. So that would bring a lot of a lot more people to town. So to what does that mean? That the roses are in bloom? Full, it, it bloom? is the premier weekend, and uh, there we go. See now we didn't know that. Well, there and the we chamber go. also has an event yeah. that. Saturday at Elizabeth Park, we have our health and wellness fair on Rose Weekend. Yeah, so yeah. we will That's have fun. 30 tents with our health and wellness members set up there to, to help you live a healthier, better life. Good, I love it. Through Speaking food and wine. Through food too. and wine. That's <laughs> it. I know uh, uh, red you. wine is supposed to be good for your health, correct? Red wine? Yeah. You drink a lot of it. Thank you, man. So, yes. And yeah. what do we have? Justin Isosceles, great bottle of wine, kind of the mid tier of what we're going to have there, but really they. You rarely find this at a wine festival. They just, it's really a high end wine and, and kind of ultra premium, and they really don't pour it at wine festivals. They normally focus on their Justin Cab, which is around 20 bucks. Probably retails right around 65, so a really good bottle of wine. Wow, excellent. Yeah. One of the things, the Matt, smell. too, that I wanted to add yeah. Yeah. was um, uh, what's different about this uh, for that ticket price that Matt was mentioning earlier, all, that, all the food is involved. Food is 100% included? Everything. And there's also, we're going to be. Large benefit to the uh, independent schools in West Hartford, which is, I think, very important. Um, you know, a lot of these schools, about half of the students require financial aid of some sort. And so we're going to have a large donation from the event uh, to the local schools, Watkinson, Kingswood, of course, the whole school, uh, Intensive Education Academy, St. Bridget, yeah. Um, yeah. as well as uh, American School for the Deaf. Yeah. Well, I love that you're bringing that group um, a higher profile. I wasn't aware that there was a group that funded students who needed well, so the tuition. School, schools assistance. like Watkinson, so literally 50 percent of the, uh, the of the kids require financial aid to go there. I mean, it's not cheap, um, and they, these schools don't have large endowments. They're not like um, you know uh, these large colleges. They they don't have a lot of money, so um, it's really nice. They, they need the funding. Yeah, people right. think private school, they think, oh, a bunch of rich, rich kids. kids, and I know it's case. really not, yeah. not the case. Sure. Well, while, while, we're, while we're sipping this, thank you, Matt, let's keep in mind that we have six months, really, uh, for the balance of the year almost, uh, worth of wine and food, kicking off with the West Hartford Wine and Food uh, Festival. Um, and then we will, we don't have dates yet, but just tune into weha.com for them. We will then have the annual Taste of uh, Blueback. Um, we will then have the Park Taste of Park Road uh, in the fall. We will have Weha Whiskey uh, you know, as well. <laughs> whiskey so, in October. I don't know. What are we missing? I think we have. Uh, I think we have enough uh, wonderful events to keep everybody sure. busy. Everyone in West Hartford busy. And please, uh, viewers, <laughs> tell everyone to come join us again. If you need any information, any dates, any details, um, you can check out westhartfordwineandfood.com or Thank go you. to weha.com. All the information will be there by clicking uh, clicking a link, and you'll have it. So cheers. Cheers to, uh, cheers to Weehaw. How's that? Cheers. cheers. How nice.